this is Bill. I'm here at Highland Hill Farm, and we solve neighbor problems. Let me tell you about one of the stories that we have about a neighbor problem and how we solved it. And you're not going to believe this, but I am not a fiction teller. I'm telling you a real, true story about neighbors that don't like each other. Here's what happened. A guy shows up in our yard and he says, I need some big hemlocks. And I said, okay, we have them. I take them out and I show him some in the field. And he, he likes them and he tags them. He says he wants big 10 to 12 foot hemlocks. I said, how many do you want? He says, I'm going to tag 10. I said, okay. He says, how much are they, all, are they installed? I said, $600 a piece. He says, that's fine. He says, but they don't have to live. I said, well, what do you mean they don't have to live? And he says, well, the world's going to end in 2012. They just have to live a couple months. So I think, well, okay, we deal with all kinds of people. I can, I can live with that. He said he needed a tree for in a shady location. Okay, I can deal with that. Hemlocks are good in shade. So I arranged to have the trees dug. He pays me $6,000 in cash green money, whips it out of his pocket. I think life doesn't get much better. So I tell my sons, okay, Saturday you're going to go down to this road down in, in the other end of Doylestown, and you're going to plant 10 hemlocks for a guy. So my boys dig the trees, and they put them on the truck, and on Saturday morning they take it down and they start to plant. I get this frantic call from my son, Jamie, who he likes everything to be perfect. He calls me up. He says, Pop, this guy's nuts. I said, don't worry about it. Just plant the trees. He says, no, you don't understand. This guy's nuts. He's putting a blue tarp on the trees. He's going to kill him. I said, Jamie, they don't have to last. They don't have to last to the end of 2012 because he claims the world's going to end. So don't worry about it. No, Pop, you don't understand. These trees, are. he's going to kill him. You're going to have a problem. He'll be back. You're going to see. You know, you're going to handle it. I don't want any part of it. I, I, I don't even want to do the rest of the job. So just plant the trees, Jamie. Well, he did plant the trees. The guy liked him. Next Saturday morning, the guy shows back up. I think, uh-oh, Houston, we have a problem. The guy comes in the yard and he says, I want to buy 10 more trees. I said, no problem. I hand him the tagging tape. I send him out to the field to begin to tag the trees. Five minutes later, he's walking out to the field. Another car pulls in. The guy hops out of the car and he says, I'm going to sue you. And I said, what for? He says, you planted trees on my property. I said, well, I don't even know who you are or where your property is. He tells me he lives on the other side of Doylestown. I think, uh-oh, you know, it's probably the guy that thinks the world's going to end in 2012 on that property. I said, Does, uh, do you live on such and such a road? He says, yeah, that's it. I said, well, you know, a guy's out in the field right now. And he's the one that told me to plant the trees there. I sent my boys down to do it. And he says, that's my pervert tenant. He didn't have right to put those trees there. You're going to take those goddamn trees out and you're going to remove them. I said, no, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not taking those trees out because I'm not going back on your property. He told me it was his property. How was I supposed to know? I'm, I'm not a land surveyor. He said, you're going to take those damn trees out and you're going to get them out and I'm, or else I'm going to take you to court. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. I said, listen, your tenant's nuts. I know that. He says the world's going to end in 2012. Yeah, he says all that all the time. I said, why don't you just rent him those, that space for the 10 trees until the end of 2012, and I'll see if I can't charge him a little bit for having the trees there and give you the money. Because one way or the other, he's going to pay to either remove the trees or pay you to have the trees there. The landlord says, yeah, that sounds good. So I, I said, well, I'll see what I can do. So I go over to this pervert. And I say to the pervert, I said, listen, your, your landlord's out there. He's mad at you. I mean, he wants me to remove those trees. But if I move those trees, it's going to cost you $1,000 just to have us do the labor of moving them out and taking them someplace else. I said, why don't you offer him 1000 bucks and uh, see if he'll let you have the trees there to the end of 2012. Well, the pervert gets to thinking about it. And he says, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I said to him, well, why don't, you, why, don't you, why don't we do it this way? Why don't you offer him a thousand bucks to have those trees there to the end of 2012? And then if the landlord goes for that, I'll tell him, but you'll give him $2,000 if he can have 10 more. The pervert says, that's great, that's great. So the pervert hands me 2,000 bucks. It says, go make the deal. So I walk back over to the landlord and I said, Mr. Landlord, this guy's is nuts. I said, but 
he does, he wants he wants those trees in there bad, and he'd really like to have ten more. Would you allow him to have ten more trees on the property if he gave you two thousand dollars in cash? And the landlord says, "You really mean two thousand dollars in cash?" I said, "Yeah, two thousand dollars, cash green money, okay, cash green money." And he you can have those. He says, "Okay." So I hand the landlord two thousand dollars in cash green money. The landlord is tickled to death. I go back to the pervert. I say, okay, we're on. He hands me another $6,000 and says, bring the trees on. So we did. Now, as they're both leaving the yard, they're both mad at each other, but they both come to me and they say, next time we're going to have a problem, we're coming to you. So if you have a problem with your neighbor, you want to come to Highland Hill Farm because we've seen it all and we can help you with your neighbor problems by putting in our trees, such as this, Norway spruce, or white pine, or green giant arborvitaes. We have fast growing trees to help you block out and get rid of that neighbor that you never want to see again in your life. And if your neighbor uses pink on a fence, give it a code pink fence, we have the defense for the code pink fence, and it's called the green giant arborvita. So come to Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. We know how to take care of your neighbor. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers.